Hey everyone, this is Cubal, what's up? And today I will be showing you how to upgrade your living ship. The best way to get max stats and also a location of a rare infinite upgrade system that you can get how many upgrades that you want for your living ship for free and real quick three upgrades at a time of every kind of upgrades your living ship will need so you better stay tuned for that also to help spread this video out there press the like button and if you haven't yet and you like my content you can consider subscribing to my channel just clicking the red button below okay there is one way to get living ship upgrades and it's not by going to the space station and buying upgrades like you do for your normal ship it just won't fit the to get upgrades for your living ship is to find a system that spawns Melody Egg. How do you do that? You will have to be inside your living ship. It won't work with a different ship, only a living ship. Then go to the galaxy map, look for uncharted systems, a system without no information at all, like this one. Then start pulsing till you find a Melody Egg. It will be a message that tells you to stop and examine and there will be a Void Egg right in front of you now it's not easy to find a system with melody eggs took me quite a while to find a good one because usually they spawn one or two melody eggs on every reload you do i found one that you can pulse around and get three upgrades i will show you step by step how to do that fast and easy back to me we are at a portal so let's enter the glyphs Diplo, a rising sun, a tent, a bird, Diplo, a vortex, a vortex again, a ship, face, a butterfly, a triforce, and the last one is a ship. You can stop and screenshot the glyphs if you want. Okay, let's go! You ready? Let's do it! When you get out of the portal, you will be on the only ring planet in this system. Let's fly off a bit away from this planet. This is the planet we were on. Let's look around. Then find the farthest planet from you. It should be the planet of light. Already discovered it by now with aggressive sentinels on it. So let's pulse over there. I will keep this part with minimal editing because I want you to see how much time it takes me to get all the three upgrades in one go so let's pulse over there while we are pulsing on the first direction we will get two upgrades the first one will pop up after 30 seconds give or take the second one should pop up at the same time after 30 seconds give or take then after you shoot the second upgrade keep pulsing a couple more seconds till you reach the planet should be the planet of light like i said before with the aggressive sentinels on it reach the planet real quick then turn around and go back to the ring planet that we came from the portal marking should be on it so fly off back to there and after one minute and 10 seconds you should get the third upgrade and to be close enough to land on the planet so go land at the portal or wherever on this planet get out of your ship reload your autosave that you did now while getting out of your ship after the reload you can do the same like i showed you now again and again till you get enough upgrades to your ship you will get them in different classes from c to s class you will need six from each one unless you don't want to upgrade everything because after you upgrade the living ship to the max and everything will be upgraded you won't have any more free slots on your ship <laughs> trust me it will take it all so keep that in mind and figure out what you want to upgrade and what you want to upgrade not to the fullest that's my advice i upgraded everything so let me show you okay i finished collecting all the upgrades i needed had to store the rest on my other ships there's six types of upgrades for your living ship so let's go over them real quick what each one does the first one is a singularity cortex the equivalent of a hyperdrive a pulsing heart 
like the pulse engine, a scream suppressor that is the shields of the ship, grafted eye, same as face beam, the last two, spewing vent is the photon cannon, and the last one is the neural assembly, just like the launch thrusters. Same exact, just with different names. Okay, now is there any logic behind living ship upgrades? Heck yeah, but it's different from any other of upgrades you got like the exosuit, the multi tool or any other kind of ships. How do they work? I will explain. Some of the upgrades you will get only in C-Class, like the Singularity Cortex, the Neural Assembly and the Pulsing Heart. But you have a choice to get them higher up to S-Class. How? While you hover over it, you will see the option to evolve and it will cost you some nanites the amount will be next to it like you see left click on the mouse evolve it once and you can keep going till you get high to s class you just need the nanites for it by the way i will show you a way to earn nanites so don't worry about that now i'm on pc on consoles it will show you what to click as well now because we can evolve living ship upgrades the stats like in this case the hyperdrive range that's what we are after is not consistent and if you reload your autosave to before you placed it and then place it again and evolve it to S class, it will show a different stat every time. In that way, you won't lose lots of upgrades and nanites if you want to get the max stat, that is 250 light years. Now, I got 248 light years on this one, as you can see, so I want to keep it. So I will just make a new auto save by entering and exiting my ship to keep it and then reload and continue. And that's how I did it with all the living ship upgrades. I upgraded everything to the max. Took me some time, but I got a beast of a ship, of course. If you don't care to max the stats that with the hyperdrive will get you farther in the galaxy map, you can just place the upgrade and then evolve it to S class. It will be between 200 and 250 light years. Just place the upgrades, then evolve it to S class. And also next I will show how I upgraded everything to the max using this method. You can just follow what I did. Or if you do want to max the stats, you will need to place then evolve to S class and reload, then do it again and repeat it till you get the max stat that you were after. Now, if you're on console like PS4 or like the reload times is way longer than on PC or PS5. So you choose how to go with that and hope you will be lucky fast. Now you will need nanites. Let me show you two ways on how to make nanites fast and easy. Now let's go to the galaxy map while you're in the upgrade system that I showed you. And the galaxy map right above the planet you are on, there's a system called Igulma. Something like that, it's a Corvex system with two stars on it. Let's warp over there. If you can't find it, I will show you the glyphs for that system as well. Of course, there will be a Fredo battle when we don't want one. So let's skip it and go to the space station. Let's land. The first one is to get all the spare upgrades you got, store it in a different ship. And let's go to the right side of the space station and pick one of the merchants no matter which one let's approach them and pick the sell option and then you can sell all the upgrades you don't need all the spare ones so don't sell the one you do need only the spares they're located on my starship i can switch up top to my starship inventory and sell all the spare upgrades that's a good way to earn nanites for free that we got in the upgrade system now for the second way i asked you to come to this system especially because i found in this system a first wave exotic ship and i'm swear they keep finding me <laughs> I wasn't even looking. So a quick explanation, just go inside your ship, make a new order save, reload, then look at the exit or entrance for 45 seconds till the ship will arrive, then buy it and scrap it. The parts you can sell for money and 
the upgrades you can sell for nanites. And that's an awesome way to get nanites. And it's close to where we were. And you can get another ship if you want to. A cool exotic ship. If you want help on uh, how to scrap ships the best way, I got a good guide on it. You can watch it after this video. It will be in the cards up top and in the description below. Okay, let's continue. Now I will go and upgrade everything to the max. See you in a bit. Okay, everything is upgraded to the max. Let me show you. This is the hyperdrive range. I got to 2917.1. It's quite good. Almost 3000. Maneuverability is 613.9. It's not the highest, but living ships can get any higher than that. And there's no X class upgrades for living ships yet. Okay, the damage is quite good for this ship and the shields are good as well. Let me show you the stats. Every one of the upgrades is almost to the max and I added the Atlas figurine from the Anomaly. You can go to the Quicksilver merchant and just buy it with Quicksilver and it will add more hyperdrive range into your ship. So that's how I got to that amount. It added me a bit more. Okay, and the Pulsing Heart the maneuverability is what important 12% in each one you can get the boost higher if you want but the maneuverability is what counts with the weapon grafted eyes node wasn't easy to get to the max but i got it as high as i could the best i got was 27 percent of the damage and 93 percent hit dispersion but i know you can get it up to 95 there are some like the launch thrusters that are constant you don't have to work on it just need to upgrade it i prepared a chart with all the maxed out stats for you guys this is the chart and those are the stats you will want to go to if you want to take your living ship to the max and this is it this is my layout i got a cool and a beast of a living ship i hope you guys found this helpful if you did hit that like button and subscribe for more i hope you enjoyed and see you on the next one and later you guys bye you guys